Hello everybody, I'm GG and welcome back to this tutorial series and in today's episode we're gonna take a look at how to create a anonymous bucket runnable. Before we get started I've created a new plugin with a separate class which implements a listener and has a simple on player join event. So to um, create a anonymous bucket runnable uh, because an anonymous bucket runnable allows you to schedule your tasks. So let's say I want to, uh, when a player joins, I want to wait 10 seconds and then I want to send the player a message or I want to notify something on the, on the server. Uh, you can do that with a bucket runnable and the easiest way in which we, of course, going to discuss in this episode is the anonymous bucket runnable. And I will explain the difference in uh, another episode because uh, you can do it either in a separate class or in the same class and when it's in the same class it's called anonymous bucket runnable when it's a separate class it's called a little different and before we do that we need to uh, get the reference of the plugin as you can see it returns an error because I already did a little preparation and uh, we pass the, the the main class like it's now called run task later because we're gonna create a task that runs later and we're gonna register the events to that class so to do that we need to create a constructor and it's public player join and then what we want to pass is uh, a copy of run task later class of the run task later class which we will just call um, let's call a plugin so that's the reference to the plugin and we do this dot plugin equals and then we create a run task later class over here uh, that can hold this and we call it a plugin as well and then we this the plugin equals plugin like that so now we have uh, a reference to the main class in which we can schedule the the runnable so to create a new bucket runnable it's really easy you just go like new bucket runnable just like that and then if it's correct if you do ctrl shift o it will return an error and then you can say add an implemented methods it will just add an overwrite and a run uh, run method so as you can see it will return an error over here because you need to add these uh, this character and inside the run you want to do what you want to do so in this case we want to send the player a message send message you have been online for four seconds just like that and now it will not do anything because if the player joins it will just run this so inside uh, outside of the these parentheses so these brackets these curly brackets you need to have the one that matches with your bucket runnable you can do dot and you can do run and we're gonna go to run task later and as you can see it takes a plugin parameter and we already have that over here plugin and it wants a delay and the delay is in ticks and ticks are uh, 20 ticks are one second so you can either uh, do like 20 for one second second or 40 for two seconds but if you want to have like 250 seconds that's easy but if you want to have 247 and it's gonna get real hard so a real neat trick is just to do 20 multiplied by the amount of seconds in this case 4 and that will just schedule your task for later so that's it for the coding we created a uh, a bucket runnable just the easiest version just anonymous uh, bucket runnable no cancelling no nothing just once run task later after 80 ticks or four seconds and that's it let's go check it out on the server see you over there so we're inside Minecraft now I've started the server and let's go check it out and it locks in one two three four yeah that's the delayed task finished you can apply it on everything else you can apply it on comma on, uh, on commands uh, you can apply it anywhere 
any event handler, any case, but this is just the simplest. I will explain a lot difficult, a lot more difficult, complex. Like um, this task only runs once, but there are tasks that can run like five times or that can run uh, a limited amount of uh, within uh, each 20 seconds. And that's it for today's episode. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, join the Discord if you have any feedback or suggestions, or if you just want to have ch- just want to chat, or any annou- for any announcements, you can also go to the Discord. And see you in the next video. Bye.